Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to wire up this little servo and, um, and also how to program it. So, uh, this is what I've got up to now. Of course the servo, which has got written on it, micro servo 9 grams, SG90. You get two attachments. You get the attachment which, is, which I've already screwed on and you get this attachment too. Um, and you get two screws. So I've already screwed on this attachment. Alright, so the pin out, I'll just zoom out. The pin out for this is, um, it's just written here. The orange wire is signal wire, the red wire is 5 volts, and the brown wire is ground. So, what else am I going to be using? I'm going to be using an Arduino Pro Mini, as usual. A load of little wires, a breadboard, a UART of some sort, and two tack switches. Okay, so, uh, let's start. Push the Arduino in somewhere. And wire up the UART. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got, I'll just zoom in a bit more actually. Red and black are VCC and ground. So there you go there. VCC and ground. Green is TX and white is RX so TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX so we're wired up there next um, we'll put the uh, servo just over here for a second and we'll wire off the thing so blue to brown and then that can go to ground. Then we'll have green to, I don't know, let's say red. And then that can go to VCC. For some reason it's labelled ACC on this Arduino, I don't know why. Then um, we'll have signal, which I usually use yellow. I usually use red for VCC as well, but don't worry. Signal will go to pin 9. Then we need two tack switches. This is this is going to be for uh, the rotation control. So rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise. So I have two of those, and um, we'll have the first pin going to let's say, let's say two, and we'll have the second pin. Uh, sorry, the first pin of the second uh, tack switch going to pin three, and then we need to just link the grounds now. So ground to the other one, and ground link to the next tack switch. Basically, what we're, what we're doing there is these are going to be input pull-ups, so these are going to be high all the time, until, unless otherwise. So they're going to be high, and the moment you press those down, it's going to short the pin to ground. Alright, so input pull-ups there. Okay, so we've got the wiring done. It's as easy as that. So now um, we'll do some coding. Okay, so first thing we need to do is include the servo library that's because of course we're using a servo and that's it will be faster to use servo library than uh, write anything from scratch so include the servo library then I've got a variable here in pass equals zero so pass is the position from zero to 180 from a variety of zero to 180 so that's the, the position there basically um, so set up serial then we want two pin modes. We want to set pin mode two and three to input pull up. Um, that's because it's easier for us. So we want, to, uh, we want to write that in for the two buttons, which are going to send the servo um, either anti-clockwise or clockwise. Okay. And my servo attached pin nine. So you tell them the library that we want to use pin nine for the servo. Then pass equals ninety and. 90, if I remember rightly, is halfway, and then we want to write 90 to the to the servo or to the pin, 
um, which will then make the servo go to the halfway point. So serial write past that doesn't matter too much. And delay 100 milliseconds. The reason I put the delay in um, is because it takes a certain amount of milliseconds to get from wherever it is to the halfway point. It will be less than 100 milliseconds probably, but I put that in just in case. So then in the loop, if digital read pin 2, in other words if pin 2 is low, in other words it's been pressed, then if the position is over 0, then we want to um, minus 1 from position. Then write the position to serial and then write the position to the servo. Um, of course, if it's you know if it's less than zero or whatever, um, or if it's less than one, then we don't want to do that because um, you know we get problems. But okay, so then if pin three is low, then get the position. Um, if it's less than 180, then increase it. Otherwise, don't increase it. Um, similar to it over here. And then get the servo and write the position again. Then we've got a delay of two. 2 milliseconds. Um, so, yeah, if you create this, ske this uh, sketch and, um, and upload it, I'll try and upload it now. Okay, and now we'll um, just go back over to the camera. Alright, so now with the servo in place and power, if I press one of the buttons, it sh the servo should move. There we go, so if I just tap it, it should go over a little bit. And there we go, so if I just zoom in a bit more. I suppose this is elementary robotics really. And that's a very simple guide on how to um, wire up and program a servo. So I hope you found this interesting. Thank you. Bye.